The influence of Islamic art goes far beyond the Middle East. In fact, the curator of the exhibition makes a bold statement about the impact of Islamic design on his own country. British design had been uh, radically affected by the study of Islamic art in the mid-19th century onwards. An exhibition celebrating the importance of this Islamic influence is currently on display at Sharjah's Museum of Islamic Civilization. The Jamil Prize 2009 asked artists from all backgrounds to create modern pieces that are influenced by traditional Islamic art and design. 75 pieces were submitted and nine finalists were shortlisted to be put on display. They represent a variety of mediums from paper platters and jewelry to turned wood and drawings. I mean, Islamic art of the past offers something to people who have no connection with the Middle East and, and many of the people making submissions were, uh, were not, um, you know, were British or German or whatever and uh, so it's a, it's a very interesting phenomenon. So every time you look at an artwork, although it's a different medium, um, it's a different presentation, but it's, it's saying something that is from the heart of the Islamic culture and that I think is one of the very special things about the exhibition. The winning piece was this work from Iranian-born artist Afruz Amiji. Afruz hand-cut the designs into a thin porous sheet of plastic, a material that's also used to construct refugee tents. It explores the beauty and violence of Iran's past, reflected onto a wall by a projector. The pattern becomes so complex by having these two layers to it, it actually desubstantiates the piece of textile. So you're aware of the pattern rather than the thing that it's made in. And uh, this is what gives it, I think, a magical quality. Submissions for the 2011 edition of the 140,000 Durham Prize are currently being looked at. By hosting the exhibition in Sharjah, the museum's curator hopes to inspire UAE-based artists to take part. The pieces will remain on display through October 24th. Usama Taha, Inside the National.